certain areas, uh, areas that were hit by the coronavirus. I'm going to be announcing uh, exactly right now that I'm going to be putting our Vice President Mike Pence in charge. And Mike will be working with the professionals, doctors, and everybody else that's working. The team is is brilliant. I spent a lot of time with the team over the last couple of weeks, but they're totally brilliant. And we're doing really well. And Mike is going to be in charge, and Mike will report back to me. But he's got a certain talent for this. And uh, I'm going to ask Mike Pence to say a few words, please. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and I, uh, uh, I look forward, uh, Mr. President, to uh, serving uh, in this role and bringing together uh, all the members of the Corona Task Force that you've established, HHS, CDC, DHS, the Department of Transportation, and State. Uh, this team has been at your direction, Mr. President, meeting every day since it was established. Uh, my role will be to continue to uh, uh, bring that team together. Uh, to bring to the President uh, uh, the best options for action to see to the safety and well-being and health of the American people. Uh, we'll also be continuing to reach out to governors, uh, state and local officials. Uh, in fact, in the recent days, uh, the White House met with over 40 state, county, and city health officials from over 30 states and territories to discuss how to respond uh, to this, uh, to the potential threat of the coronavirus. Uh, we'll be working with them in renewed ways to make sure they have the resources uh, to be able to respond. Authorities in responding to potential threat of dangerous infections. Uh, Mr. President, uh, uh, as, uh, as we've been briefed, while the threat to the American public remains low of a spread of the coronavirus, uh, you have uh, directed this team to take all steps necessary to continue to ensure the health and well-being of the American people. Uh, and the people of this country can be confident that under your leadership uh, we will continue to bring the full resources of the federal government in coordination with our state and local partners uh, to see to the health and well-being and to the effective response to the coronavirus here in the United States of America. With us uh, under the emergency support function number eight. I could not be more delighted that you've asked the vice president my old friend and colleague to lead this whole of government approach uh, with us uh, under the emergency support function number eight. Uh, as of today, we have 15 cases of COVID-19 that have been detected in the United States, with only one new case detected in the last two weeks. We also have three cases among Americans repatriated from Wuhan and 42 cases among Americans repatriated who had been stuck on the Diamond Princess in Japan. The President's early and decisive actions, including travel restrictions, have succeeded in buying us incredibly valuable time. This has helped us contain the spread of the virus, handle the cases that we have, and prepare for the possibility that we will need to mitigate broader spread of infections within the United States. The President's actions, taken with the strong support of his scientific advisors, have proven to be appropriate, wise, and well calibrated to the situation. So, Dr. Shuket, I'll turn it over to you. Uh, thanks so much, Mr. Secretary. Um, as you know, this has been a difficult and challenging time, and our hearts go out to the individuals who have been directly affected by the virus and to all those who have been working tirelessly in responding to it. The trajectory of what we're looking at over the weeks and months ahead is very uncertain, but many of the steps that we have taken over the past 15 years to prepare for pandemic influenza and our experience going through the 2009 H1N1 pandemic of influenza remind us of the kinds of steps that our healthcare system, our businesses, our communities and schools may need to take. We're in this together, all of government, the public and the private sector, and the CDC wants to make sure you have the best information available every day. Thank you. That we're talking about is a respiratory virus. It's spread in a similar way 